Welcome back to another rig review. And today I want to take a look at this cute little health box. As always, I will put the link in the description of where to get that robot. The link to it will also be on my animation buffet site where I put all kinds of rigs on there and reviews. So if you have a rig you want me to look at, post and or review, let me know. You can email me a link in the description and here in the pop up. And I post these on my YouTube channel. Feel free to browse around and see if there's anything you like. And if you do like, you don't want to miss anything. You can also subscribe while hitting that bell button all right all right let's look at this cute little robot from all angles that's what it looks like you got your main control out here here is your global scale you can't scale it like this it goes through the channel but you can move this around you select the inner control and you don't have any scale either but you can move it around so again this is if you have any type of pivot changes so now you can move this around and since it is hovering this will give you the pivot off the center here probably on the on the heaviest part here so that's what i would do here but of course you can grab this guy and fly around like this and then you have this controller here to move it around again you have multiple controllers and this is the fly con as it says but with the center here i would still probably center it a bit higher so feel free to change that however you want to but anyway let's go back that's all you have in the channels that's all you have in the channels down here I usually saw it at the bottom. This has no feet, but it has little controllers here. Speaking of feet, that's what you have here. If you select this, it would be kind of cool to have controllers here as well. To kind of do, well, if I change this here, modify center pivot, then it would be kind of cool to do something where it can technically roll it like this and maybe come out just to kind of have something cute when it lands so that the feet could have a bit of a kind of squishiness kind of a compression maybe it rotates in as it compresses i think that would be really cool just a note to uh, the person who created this link in the description of course uh, but anyway let's go to this guy here so you have this control gives you rotate on off let's turn this on and you have this and so when you do this you have that there is no scale but you can select this one here so when you pull this this is your scale so when you have a and then going back this is how you would do it you can scale it like that as well to go in and out a bit more focused so you can translate move this around you can rotate that end here do all kinds of things and scale like i said and that is that going up here you have your body control here as it says and again this is for moving things around this moves everything as you can see but it's not moving this so as you have your flight control as it says here the pivot is going to still be this. So if you want to change that, right, you can go with this, go a bit lower, and bam, now when you do your flight control selection, your pivot will be here. So you can do this through these two, as I said at the beginning, or through changing your body count and then adjusting the pivot there. Going up here, you have eyes, so you got two controllers here. So actually, not eyes, you have one eye. You select this and you have eyelid top, and eyelid down so it's super cute you got lids you can translate this around there's a limit to this so as i'm going over it stops so you can move around like that there's an inner control here so that's your iris scale and you can translate this around again it has a limit it's all nicely done i would probably go in there and change the color this is for me textures on right so this is your lights textures no textures so this will change that. It'll be kind of cute to change just the look of this. It doesn't get completely lost. And the red was a nice glossy, you can see this here, geometry shaded there. That's kind of cool. Then going over there, you got your wings. So you can select this and you can go down and has a limit, which is also cool. And the limit is here. So you can close this up and open it. And then this has an extra little flap here. Also with limits, super cool. It's so cute. I love that. It's a little, cute little simple rig, but you can get so much out of this. Now, I know this is a hard surface piece here. There's all a kind of a metal container or something, something. But it would still be really, really cute if you could actually squash and stretch this. Stretch this and squash this. I think that as an extra option could be kind of cute. And that could be something with a control where maybe you could change the lights or you can have it pop out. This could be a container that you could open. I can't, if you look at it, it's empty. But I think this has possibilities to kind of expand on that rig a bit with some cute little things. Going back though, you got the antenna. So you got your main rotational here. You can't translate and you can't scale. And you go on these and it's all the same thing. So I can select all of these here all the way to the top. There's no scale, there's no translate, but FK wise, you can rotate this around. Sometimes on the top, you have extra channel controls. Nothing here, this is what you get here. 
then we look at the light and the lights you have the lights on off like this and you can rotate around like that or through the channel dee -doo, dee -doo, dee -doo. again we kind of need to also be able to have a, a control here for the colors i mean you can change this manually of course but we kind of need to go over this blue maybe red yellow green all kinds of options i think that'd be kind of cute now when you grab this you can't translate this so there's no way for potentially going in and closing this would be kind of neat if you could if i take this here right it's going to be all crazy let's pretend i hide all this it's cute though you have a little light bulb but if you could hide all of that hide this hide that that this is almost like an iris where it would open the light comes out and then it goes back in and it closes i think that could be kind of cute and then it just kind of looks like this i'm gonna hide everything manually here and then hide it like that and you can see kind of cute to have this gone and then bam the light comes out it's almost like you have this let me select this here so you select that and that and then you close this at the same time and this is kind of its closed state i mean you would have to technically select this here and turn that off so there you go so that could be its resting state and then when it starts flying around it could be maybe a way to take these guys and then hide the legs i don't know i think this has a lot of potential of adding more things to it to make it super cute a bit more versatile and something where i uh, just have a bit more options to tweak things other than that again i think i selected all those controllers if you do this and you kind of look around what is going on that's all we have there are no hidden controllers and it's a cute break again you can move things around there's nothing crazy to pose out i mean you can have that you can have it move around like this you can potentially change that a little bit maybe this comes out ah for whatever reason you want a bit of a change there maybe you want to change in here you don't have any rotations where you can move it like this you can see you can but it doesn't really move it's not like you have a pivot joint here and you can change um the angle of you can only change it in one axis here and even in Y, you can't change anything, even though the controller does it. I think that would be another thing that'd be kind of cute in terms of posing things out. So I'm gonna leave it like that. You can do it like this. And then maybe you can take these guys and move that around like that. Like that's probably as far as you will go. But then you could have that eye like this. This is my real time, not fast forward posing, or maybe this like that. But again, the little squash and stretch could be kind of cool if I activate my drawing abilities here that you could have a, a line of action where you have this it's my awesome line here, right? So if you do this, you would move the rig over. So it's a bit more like that it has a bit of a bend, maybe even in the light, like an overall squash and stretch right now, because you already have the antenna like this, got the fire there. Maybe these guys, like I said, rotating back this way could be kind of cute so that from a top view if this is the robot lights the wings are not like this the wings could actually be rotated out like that so you have kind of like an angle like that as it moves this way i think that would be all really really cool in terms of what the rig uh could do it's a super cute rig nice and simple but very very appealing for lots of cute little animations i can't wait to see what people are doing with this and again if you have any rigs that you want me to look at post or end or review then you can send me an email link in description and in the pop-ups you can see this and that is that from me if you like this you want to see more of this and not miss anything feel free to subscribe you know the drill at the end of those clips but i will say it anyway but that's it for me and i will see you in my next clip and i'm gonna do a bye oh there's a limit i want to go higher up there bye 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 bye